Well, hi, YouTubers, I'm back with 60 Books in Isolation, and it is The Curious Heart of Alicia Ray, okay, by Stephanie Butland. Alicia Ray survived, now she needs to learn to live. Okay, this book was really, really good. It was so unexpected. Let me read the blurb. Alicia Ray is learning how to live. She's a few months past a heart transplant that saved her. That should be your joy for adventure. But her relationship with her mother is at breaking point. She doesn't know how, where her father is. How her friends left her behind. She's felt so hopeless for so long. She lets polls on her blog to make her decisions for her. She barely knows where to start on her own. Then there's Lennox, her best friend and one-time lover. He was sick too. He didn't make it. How is she supposed to face all this without him? But a new heart is a bold heart. She just needs to listen to it. It's just so unexpected. And also, what's really is I was casting a film. I was casting a film for this or a TV show. I really, really enjoyed this. Really, really did. So let me just, because uh, obviously everything Alicia Ray does is she has got to the point in her life, okay, where she, due to her heart, she started to uh, blog about it. And it's for, and now she's become codependent on other people's opinions, okay? This is a bit what she's, this is page five where she's talking about what she, what she wants to get. I would like one of you to get yourself a couple of goldfish or kittens or puppies or even horses. I call them cardio and thoracic. My favorite would be for puppies because I love the thought that if I don't make it to Christmas somewhere, there'll be someone walking in the winter country, letting their enthusiastic wee spaniels off the lead, and they're howling cardio as they disappear over the brow of the hill, tend to catch in some poor terrified sheep. That is what I call a legacy. Yeah, however, she gets a heart, okay? She gets a heart, and it all goes well, and she has to recover and be on steroids for a very long time. Her weight goes up and down. She even decides the diet she decides to do is chosen on her blog, okay? So, this bit here. And she basically writes a list of what to do when she's well, and it's like, climb something high, get a shot, like jump in a cold water, learn to dance, was a tango since I first watched Strictly Ballroom, switch my phone off, Q for hours, okay, Q for hours, okay? And everyone says, dance, 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 so she starts dancing lessons. You see what I mean? You see exactly what I mean. But at the same time, she's mourning for Lennox, because obviously they were both on the list, and Lennox didn't make it. Lennox, sorry, Lennox didn't make it. So basically, Sophie, sorry, sorry, Alicia, Alicia has got to live without Lennox. That's really, really hard for her to do, because she might have been, been together for a very, very long time. They met, obviously, during the process, and they lived together. They kind of were in this in the same way that no one else fully understood. And it's absolutely really heartbreaking when she's sitting there with the fa you know, uh, Lennox's family and chatting. And the fact is, okay, that there was two of them and one survived and it wasn't their son. And that's very, very difficult. I mean, how can you still look someone in the eye knowing, okay, that you lived and they didn't? And that's very, very hard. And well, Lennox's sister, through Lennox, because um, I never actually really know Lennox, but we... He's mentioned a lot in the flashbacks, but when you, Alicia goes out with Lennox's sister, you can kind of see what kind of character Lennox was. Okay? So, this bit here though. Alicia almost nods when she can't complete the sentence. She always says lost. It's the word that surprises her by springing it to mind, but she can't say she's lost when she's alive and well. I sit next to the sister who used to have a kind, clever younger brother, and now she has instead an apple tree with the singulated remains of memories hanging from it. She's not sure she should be here in the garden or even in the world. Apple, which calls her heart, well, other people chose the name, could have gone to a more deserving person. If she'd died sooner, would that change whatever equation in the universe was using a clinic to lived? Because of that to Louisa, I thought the world of him too. She has to internalise her feelings and grief because she's the one who lived. However, further along the lines, okay, she meets Seb, okay, through, and because Seb is an actor who had an eye transplant. He, um... Basically, got spotted on the show. He was on the equivalent of, I guess, EastEnders, and he was doing it basically this ver this version of Strictly, because only Strictly, when his eyes start to fail, so he had an eye transplant. That's kind of how they meet, and they become friends. And the fact of the start of it is, okay, it is friendship. It is just a friendship. However, people just don't see it that way, okay? But it's in Seb's introduction, okay? And this is I love this Seb News Hub, which is basically the equivalent of the Sun newspaper. Here you go. Before things couldn't get worse for sexy Seb Morley, after an eye infection put a stop to his star dance moves, well, you're wrong. 
Morley's parents left Moorfields Eye Hospital late on Monday night looking worried. It looks like, though, she's having a serious problem. She didn't even lose his sight. A tall band of dedicated said fans have set up a vigil outside the hospital, holding candles and sitting quietly on the pavement near, near, near to the entrance. Sarah Blakeford commentary said, We want Seb to know that he has people who can really care about him on his bad days as well as his good ones. We have candles because we hope he can see the light. Exactly. A lot of this is done through newspaper articles. Obviously, people, they find out about Alicia and they are really, really horrible about her weight. Okay, and, oh, and so they meet basically dancing, okay, due to the fact that Alicia's going to dance, Seb is still dancing, and they go into like, Seb goes to like audition, okay, for like Romeo and Juliet, but like a tango version. If you will. Now, I'm not spoil this here, okay? This would be the version, okay, where the leading lady dropped out. Because at this point, okay, that Seb and Alicia have been running lines together. That doesn't happen. In another book, that would have happened, okay? Like the leading lady falls down some stairs. Who knows the part? I know the part. She goes on. It doesn't happen. And I actually like that. I find that was, that was realistic. That was realistic, okay? But what I like about this book is that it also talks about the emotional cost of. Cause Alicia's been sick her entire life, and it shows the emotional cost of what she's missed out on. Her whole life has been on medication, and now she's in her early 20s, and this bit here, okay? In the least years since leaving university, though Alicia was a year behind having to spend her final year uh, over two, it's in less of each other. They are living in France now with his fiancé, Priti and Tim are close-ish in Sterling, are both work full-time and are dealing up their flat at weekends. Emily and Krista, Edinburgh based still, and each make a point of seeing them every couple of weeks. But it's not fun that they all together like this. And anyway, for the two years I've been upgraded to urgent on transplant list to the time she came out of the hospital, the real world self has stood still and waited. In the meantime, her friends have found what they want to do and what they want to be. They've closed doors and turned away from them. Turn away from what they know isn't for them. It's just time to spend waiting to be well. Or rather, first waiting for Lennox to be well, and herself too. Therefore, well, after he died, she thought she'd have turned down her heart if she could, for the sake of losing, so no longer having to make her way through the swamp of grief she found herself in. So she's still grieving, and also she has to look around again okay, and think, well, everyone's moved on with their lives, and they've always been moving on their lives. They just spent the entire life playing catch up. And the fact is, she's become codependent on her blog because she has to really start making independent thoughts for herself and not rely on other people. Do I go dancing? What do I call my heart? Do I talk to my father or not? Do I talk to my father? Other people made that choice for she's to basically stand up on her own. At the same time, okay, in fact, fact of a friendship, there's a friendship with Seb, everyone everyone assumes that she's dating Seb. There you go. Just, oh, I love this. Actually, this is from The Sun. I just noticed that. Actually, it says The Sun, which in the real world, as a newspaper, can be screwed themselves royally, but I, I'm an Everton supporter, so it's no secret. There you go. Article, a sexy Sam Morley has kept himself out of the spotlight since he opened it up his, about his eye up earlier on this year. We can exclusively reveal it looks as though he's made a full recovery. He's been spotted dancing a steamy tango at Stefano's in Trendy Shoreditch. He had, had eyes for a new girl and the two had a long, intimate chat before getting up to up on the dance floor. Who's this girl? We don't know, but she's not Seb's usual type. There's not more to scurvy last than his usual models and actresses, but Morley didn't take his eyes off the pear-shaped partner one night and they left early hand in hand so after beating a heart disease a heart transplant watching lennox pass away being on steroids for a very very long time dealing with anti-rejection drugs trying to forge in your life and some newspapers calling her fat yeah because she's pear shaped because she's put on weight because hey that happens okay so i really really did enjoy this book i like alicia's kind of figuring out her path in life and it was good it was really really good alicia Ray is learning how to live and if she does, and I love the character, and I would kill for a film based on this, okay? So, sign up here, YouTubers, six books in isolation, take care, everyone, and bye now.